I really hate working out at home so I think biking will be like a good fit for me and once the weather gets better I'm gonna head out and do some biking okay get that cardio in we ain't trying to put on no Rona weight so we got to keep fit you know what I mean and the gyms are closed so this is gonna be great so this is it here pretty nice yeah so, yeah. Good morning. Good morning, my love. Aki and selfish. With fried dumpling and pear or avocado. Everybody calls it something different. Mark Weens? Oh, 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 so good. <laughs> Big up Mark Weens flying out to Jamaica posting six videos. Mm. Soak the dumpling in that. <laughs> Dipping it in doing it. Hey, Wendy. I'm on keto, so I can't eat no dumpling. I think Aki and Selfish is okay though. Everything else is okay except the dumpling. Mm -mm, look at that steam. One week later. Okay guys, so it's a new day, in case you didn't notice. I just came back from the LCBO and I picked up a few things that I feel are keto friendly. So if you are doing keto, you can grab something like this. The LCBO is Canadian though, so you might not find the same options, but definitely look out because there's a lot of options. I got I've got a few just to test out see which ones I like and then um, you know I can always go back and try some other ones okay so this is a Smirnoff vodka soda it has zero sugar and 90 calories um, and zero carbs so this is a good one to try out it's peach white peach rosé so I expect this to taste really good then I got a white wine spritzer. I'm not sure if this is Canadian or... Um, yes, it's actually Canadian. This is made in Toronto, so that's pretty cool. This one has a little bit more calories, 120 calories, one gram of carb, and zero sugar. So depending on how much calories you're gonna intake for the day, you might just wanna have one, but this is okay 120 calories isn't that bad and there's no sugar in it so you won't be um breaking your ketosis then i got this one which is social light it's a vodka soda mango pineapple 80 calories zero grams of sugar one gram of carb this is also canadian made in Whitby, Ontario. So this one should taste pretty good. I like anything pineapple, mango, or coconut. So yeah, and this is 4% alcohol. 
the white one spritz is 5% alcohol, so. Got a little something, something to work with. And then the last one is White Claw Mango Spritzer, which is 5% alcohol. This one has 140 calories, one gram of carb, one gram of sugar. So this is also fine to drink and won't mess up your ketosis. And this one is also made in Toronto, so buying Canadian here. And lastly, I got Smirnoff. I saw something on Pinterest that said if you make Smirnoff with this sparkling ice, zero calories, zero sugar sparkling water, it's actually supposed to be really good. And the flavor I got is coconut pineapple, so I'm gonna mix these two up and see how it goes. Yeah, so we're thinking of grilling some ribs today because it's a beautiful day, it's super sunny, and um, who doesn't want to grill? We got some ribs that I season, pre-season the night before so they can soak and marinate really well and I have it in the fridge and there they are. They've been marinating since yesterday evening so it's gonna be good, okay? And then I picked up this barbecue sauce. I've never tried it before. It's Bullseye Guinness. I'm thinking this should be good. I might add a little bit of honey with it to give it like a, what would you call it? H honey barbecue vibes? Yeah, honey barbecue vibes. Normally I use Diana sauce, like that's one of my favorite barbecue sauces. But it's good to try something different. And we've never actually made ribs before. So I usually get beef ribs, but you know, today we're gonna try pork ribs. So yeah, I'm excited. Super nice day today. Yeah, so we gotta take advantage of the beautiful days when they come. So since the pandemic, we actually purchased a deep freezer and it is such a good investment. We didn't get like a huge one, but we got a decent size one. I think it was, how many cubic feet? I think it was maybe like 5.5 cubic feet or something like that, but it's like a reasonable size. I have been just kind of like stocking it as I go along and it is such a good investment. I watch, I think her name is Maze Lee, her channel, it's a family channel, I'm sure you know her. She has like six kids or something like that, like I don't know how she do it. They have the freezer of all freezers in their garage I think it is and she has some really good hacks so you should check out her freezer video how she stocks her stuff up. She freezes like muffins, butter, um, I think she freezes yogurt but it was so good and like so helpful. The freezer that we have is RCA and like I said it's I think it's five cubic feet by five and so <clears throat> it has a little section here which is good as you can see it's like at its capacity and um yeah basically i stock it up with everything this is like fries this is oxtail if you're jamaican you know what that is this is goat meat this is cod for when we make fish and chips we got bacon frozen there hot dogs Ah, dog, ah, dog, ah, diggity dog. Um, I forgot which mom I saw, but she did a really good hack with these, freezing them. They're yogurts, and the kids love it. It's so much better than like freezies, which are like full of sugar. Not that those aren't full of sugar, but you know, vegetables, fish, a bunch of stuff. So, this is our situation right now, and it's great, honestly. And this currently is my favorite sparkling water. That's all I've been drinking lately because it makes me feel full and like the mild sweetness just gives me enough of what I need. Yeah, this one is peach pear. I'm gonna say this is called La, La Croix, La Croix? I don't even know, but yeah, this is it. <laughs> No. 
Okay guys, so I came into the room because the music is kind of loud, but basically we have the ribs on the grill and we're doing kind of like a slow cook. Yeah, so we're gonna add some corn and then that's gonna be that. So this is what we're grilling in, guys. The t-shirt is from Zara. The jeans are from Fashion Nova. They're really comfy and stretchy. The shoes are ASOS and they are mad comfortable. I got them on sale for $20. And this sweater, I don't even remember where it's from. And yeah. Okay, it's noisy in my house, but here is the final. The ribs looking good. And we are about to dig in. So thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely subscribe and thumbs up if you want more vlogs. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.